to weather now, meteorologist John Walsh joins us now. And John, a lot of those post Berkshire brunch plans got moved <laughs> inside today. It was downright cold. Yeah, it would have been uh, kind of chilly being out in the tents today. Yeah. Like, uh, it's a, yeah, kind of a damp day, but that's the way it went with us. Yeah. And uh, we're moving into May now, and hopefully we'll find some May-like temperatures on the horizon. I think we can yeah. do that. But in the meantime, we'll also take a look at how much rain we've seen for the month of April. There's certainly been a lot of April showers around the area. First threat tracker, we're keeping it in the green, and that's a good sign. That's an indication that perhaps no more rain, at least for a while. We'll take a bit of a break for the rainfall and uh, just some warmer temperatures headed our way heading into Wednesday. Here's a look at uh, the rain for the month of April now that we're starting a new month. And boy, we have had some surpluses. We've more than made up our rainfall, anywhere between uh, an inch and 66 to three and 67 hundredths inches rainfall in the coffers. That's on the positive side of things. Omaha picked up five and 40 hundredths so for the month, nearly seven inches up around Tacoma, six and a half inches at Fremont, not quite as much in the Lincoln, and then you get into uh, southern sections of the state down to about uh, close to four inches in Beatrice, but even in southwest Iowa, they've had a, a good amount of rainfall. So now we'll dry out for a little bit. How about that? That'll be nice for a while. I think we're done with the rain, and uh, as we take a look at the radar, it would appear that's the case tonight. Uh, a lot of those showers that were up here around Denison and Harlan seems to have fallen apart. So at best, a sprinkle. Again, there's where the lion's share of the rainfall is with uh, that upper level energy moving into Illinois, southern Wisconsin. We still have some clouds around the area. Some breaks, though, thinning to the cloud. Uh, some thinning to the clouds, as you can see in the northern sections of the state, but I think most of the night will be mostly cloudy. We may see some patchy fog as we head toward the morning hours. Oh, on the horizon, maybe a break down there, but uh, you see the overcast skies, 49 degrees, the present temperature with the north wind at 17. We're about at 700s in the metro area over the past uh, 24 hours. Taking a look at the neighborhoods, Bennington at 48 degrees right now. It's chilly. Most locations in the mid and upper 40s, 47 at Elmwood Park, 48 degrees at Brentwood, 47 at Woodland Creek, and Blue Ridge at 47 degrees as well. Across the region, 52 up in Wayne, a little chilly down around Beatrice, 47 degrees, some lower 50s from Carroll to Denison to Tacoma, and then Nebraska City sitting at 48. Future cast from 10 o'clock on will stay in the upper 40s, remaining cloudy, some breaks to the clouds in the uh, northwestern sector of our viewing area and maybe a sprinkle or two here and there. That's about the extent of it for the early evening hours. We'll gradually start to see the clouds recede toward morning, but we'll see some fog with all that moisture in the ground uh, as temperatures cool into the lower 40s. Patchy fog looks like a pretty good bet for the morning hours and your morning commute. And then for lunchtime, temperatures will be around 55 degrees as we'll see partly sunny skies, I think, during the day. And there may be a few showers in the afternoon hours, but I think a lot of that will be to the south and southeast of the metro area. Here is a look at the temperature trends beyond tomorrow. I think you'll like this. The average is 69. We'll be warming into the lower 70s toward the middle part of the week and maybe climbing into the lower 80s uh, as we head into Saturday. Just a bit cooler on Sunday. That's when our next chance for precipitation is. For tonight, 43 degrees for the overnight low, mostly cloudy, evening sprinkle, and then some fog late tonight. For tomorrow, morning fog to start out, otherwise partly sunny skies. 62 will be the high as we'll see some very light north winds, probably not much more than five miles an hour. Here's a look at your seven day forecast heading into Tuesday. We'll climb to near 70 degrees, upper 60s on Wednesday. Again, it's gonna be nice to see the sunshine return. And then on Thursday and Friday, we'll start to see those temperatures climb above the average for this time of year, peaking into the lower 80s by Saturday. There is a chance of some thunderstorms